kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse, set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Responsorial psalm. The response is, justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, endow the king and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
I remember there was a project at the seminary that myself and my brother, um, then seminarians and some now priest, had uh, been assigned to do. And it was in our uh, catechism class where they taught us how to teach, you know, catechism, you know, for many others. And we had to choose a specific topic. And I believe we chose out of a hat. And myself and the other seminarian that I was assigned with, we chose the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And for that, what we ended up doing is uh, we also not only chose the topic, but then another hat, we would choose the age group. So we ended up having to teach uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit to uh, elementary school, you know, kids. And so, you know, we were racking our brain for a few weeks and trying to find out, like, how can we be able to teach, you know, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, you know, to elementary school kids. And uh, we were looking up, you know, on Google and, and different ways, and uh, we found one way that probably, I know for myself, would work. And it was a, a kind of a, what do you call it, like a, a word association, where you would take the gifts of the Holy Spirit and take the first initial of the word, and then you would make a, you know, a word out of it. And so the, out of the seven, it came up with work crew. And it's not spelled uh, W-O-R-K, but it's uh, W-U-R-K. CRW, which uh, if you put those gifts together, it comes out with work crew. And it was a way that for us to teach, you know, the kids um, that maybe they might not understand, you know, work crew at that moment or be able to you know, differentiate it out. But at least that can be sticking in their head as they get older. They can then, you know, figure that out. And so the gifts of the Holy Spirit, if you use that acronym work crew, it's wisdom, understanding, right counsel or judgment, knowledge courage you see how it works there yeah exactly and so that in itself my dear friends today we hear the gifts of the Holy Spirit in our first reading and then in the Gospel of Luke it says Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit that there's a special bond that we need to have with the third person of the Holy Trinity I believe about a month or two months ago, I had spoken about uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the fruits of the Holy Spirit as well, and how important that is for us to have that relationship with, of course, the whole Trinity, but particularly with the Holy Spirit. That when God, when Jesus resurrected to heaven, he gives us the gifts of the Holy Spirit to us. That in that gifts of the Holy Spirit, as we continue to grow that in our lives, that we come closer to that relationship with the Holy Trinity. And something in this gospel today, it also represents how we are, he himself is intertwined with the Holy Trinity of God the Father and of the Holy Spirit. And my dear friends, to grow in those gifts of the Holy Spirit, it takes a work crew. It takes work. It's not simple that we need to continue to have that intention to work towards it. We know that to get to heaven, it takes work. But my dear friends, I think that we shouldn't just look at bringing ourselves to heaven, but others as well. And how do we do that? We help enhance the gifts of the Holy Spirit in each and every single one of us. That is not just about bringing ourselves to heaven, but bringing others to heaven as well. That we ourselves are a work crew that we work towards the Heavenly Father and increasing those gifts of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Salt to please stand. We now bring our needs to our loving Father with confidence and trust. For Pope Francis, may the Lord look graciously upon his every need and continue to prosper him in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For world leaders and local representatives, May the Spirit of the Lord lead them in their decision-making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
for the elderly and homebound. May the Lord fill them with his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community here, may Jesus strengthen us in building God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, especially for the intention of this holy mass, for Ed Schneiders, may they soon be welcomed home by our loving God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and for the special petitions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Heavenly Father, give our every perfect gift. We ask that you would hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, and Tan, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking of this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. And just serving as a reminder, we have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament after our Mass here today until 12 p.m., ending with the Angelus and Benediction. So you're more welcome to stay after the Mass here today to adore our Lord in the Most Holy Sacrament. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Wish you all a very beautiful day today. Invite us to please kneel at this time for exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 